Good day everyone! Welcome to Surfax Learning Channel. For today's video, pag-uusapan naman po natin yung second condition of equilibrium. Ano nga ba yung second condition of equilibrium? Kung gusto mong malaman, panoorin mo ang video ito. At kung bago ka sa channel ni Surfax, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe at hit ang notification bell on para maging updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong video lessons. Okay? Happy learning everyone! Alright, last time we started discussing these lessons for week one quarter two about the rotational equilibrium and rotational dynamics with the following most essential learning competencies, MELC 1 to 8. And I started discussing the following as a, as a short review about the conditions of equilibrium. And I presented last time two conditions, but uh, I recorded one video lessons about the first condition. The first condition of equilibrium is the translational equilibrium, which I recorded last time. And ilalagay ko na lang sa link itong video lesson kung ito. And the second condition of equilibrium is the rotational equilibrium. Rotational equilibrium, or this second condition rather, states that for an object to be in rotational equilibrium, the algebraic sum of the torques of all the forces about any axis perpendicular to the plane of the force is equal to zero or the summation of your torque is equal to zero. All forces is equal to zero. The sum of clockwise torques, take note for this, the sum of clockwise torques is negative, must be equal to the sum of counterclockwise torques, which is positive. So counterclockwise, positive, clockwise, negative. But the sum of counterclockwise and clockwise is must be equal to zero. Or must be equal, rather, not zero. Counterclockwise and clockwise must be equal for a rotational equilibrium. And the five-foot axis can be chosen to be any point inside that or outside of the object. So this rotational equilibrium is a situation in which an object is not rotating. So it could be an object which is not rotating or a rotating object at constant angular speed about an axis. So take note for this. Torque or moment of force is the effectiveness of the force in producing rotating or rotation about the x-axis. So torque, mathematically defined as force times the lever arm or L or radius, etc. whatever definitions they, the science, uh, science express, basta it's the force times the lever arm or the radius from the fulcrum or from the rotating axis. However, the lever arm is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation to the line along which force acts. Okay? Perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation to the line along which force acts. That's the lever arm. The effectiveness of the force is producing of rotation of object depends upon the magnitude. So, nakadepende sa magnitude yung effectiveness of force of the lever arm and the direction of the force acting on a body. Okay? Let us have this example. So you see here on the picture a family having a seesaw. So for example, the father is 75 kilograms and the mother is 55 kilograms. And they are 
at opposite ends of the CISO. And the CISO is 10 meters long. 10 meters long. Now, if the child wants to join them, where should this 23 kilograms child sit so that the CISO is balanced at the center? So saan natin paupuin si 23 kilogram child para maging balance itong siso. So you have the 75 kilograms father, 55 kilograms mother, and the 23 kilograms child who wants to sit on the siso. Saan natin ilalagay? So of course, for us to determine, we will use the mathematical expression of torque. Summation of torque is equals to zero. So summation of torque is equal to zero. And we define torque as the force times the lever arm. So yung lever arm po natin is... So this is 10 meters long CISO. So let's say 5 meters towards the mother and 5 meters towards the father. All right? So force is equals to mass times acceleration due to gravity. Since uh, yung, motion, yung motion that belongs here is downward, upward and downward. So acceleration due to gravity or uh, this... The, the, the weight is affected by acceleration due to gravity or the force is affected by acceleration due to gravity which is constant 9.8 meters per second squared for Earth. Okay? So remember, this expression is transferable. So you, we could have zero for this ha, is equal to torque times the weight of the father plus torque times the weight of the mother plus torque times the weight of the, chi, the child. Or child lang po yan na children, child. Okay? So the mass of the father times each acceleration due to gravity which is constant times the length of the lever from here up to here same true with the mother and the child so the the father here is 75 kilograms times the acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meters per second so we assume na from this point up to this point is 5 meters plus the weight of the mass of the mother is 55 kilograms times the acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meters per second squared times the 5 meters lever from the rota rotating axis. Now, why is it negative here? Uh, because the movement of the father is count is clockwise, diba? As the father moves up, it moves clockwise. So he has a negative torque okay however the mother the movement of the mother if we will look at the here in the rotating axis the movement of the mother is counterclockwise kaya yung kanyang torque is positive okay kaya mayroon tayong negative dito because counterclockwise uh, clockwise yung movement ng torque me father you got it all right let's proceed so if we will multiply this 75 times 7.8 times 5 is 3675 newton meters kasi kilogram meters per second squared is newton and you have a meter here same true with 55 times 9.8 times 5 is 2,695 newton meter plus 
23 times 9.8, 222.4 Newton times L3. Which is, ito yung hinahanap po natin. Saan natin ilalagay si child, si boy? All right? Okay. So, nine, negative 3,675 Newton meter plus 2,695 Newton meter is negative 980 Newton meter. Since we cannot add 980 Newton meter plus 225.4 Newtons, okay, baka kasi yung kanilang unit measure. So, gagawin po natin, ililipat po natin si, itatranspose po natin si 980 dito. At the same time, we're looking for L3. Para mahanap po natin si L3, ibig sabihin kung saan natin ilalagay si boy, we have to do this. So, ito na ngayon. 980 new, since this is negative, magiging positive pag nilipat sa kabilang side. Mat for mathematics rules, 980 newton meter is equals to 225.4 newtons times L3. So, ano nung gagawin natin para mahanap si L3? We will divide both sides by 222.4. Ayan, kakancel out po natin yung Newton po dito. And 225.4 divided by 225.4 is equals to 1. And therefore, you divide 980 divided by 2.25.4 is equals to 4.3 meters. Kung titignan nyo, natira na lang na unit measure po natin dito is meters. So therefore, your L3 is equal to 4.3 meters. So, ibig pong sabihin, ilalagay po natin si child dito sa side ni mother around 4.3 meters yung distance niya from the rotating axis. Okay? So, ito po ay para po sa second condition of equilibrium which is, which is rotational equilibrium. Okay? Hopefully, nakatulong po ito sa inyo, lalo na po sa mga kumukuha po ng General Physics 1, Week 1 for Quarter 2. At kung bago ka sa channel ni Sir Fox, huwag mong kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell all para updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong video lessons. Happy learning!